You know, as I reflect on Charles Crittenton's story, our founder was hurting. He lost his daughter at age four, how devastating. Instead of taking that pain and giving up on life, he moved forward on behalf of others. We started as, as a place for unwed mothers. At a time when there was a lot of stigma and labeling uh, for women who had children with no husband. And so as the years have evolved, we continuously listened to the voices of girls and what our community needs from us and evolved our services accordingly. I would get grounded, I got arrested. I've been bullied my whole life and I've been through a lot of trauma. Verbally, it would be physically. I throw things, I yell, I scream, I hit things. Like, I just, I'm a very angry person. I think it's just because of my past. So we have a therapeutic group home for girls ages 10 to age 18, where they reside and receive behavioral health services, including individual group and family therapy. We have a girls ranch location. They're 12 to age 18, primarily out of our child welfare system. Many of them are pregnant or parenting. And we have a unique opportunity to help break cycles. So the girls are really focusing on good parenting. We have permanent supported housing, and we're helping them to live well despite mental illness. And so these young ladies come to us oftentimes after being homeless or on their way to becoming homeless. And many of them have transitioned out of foster care. Without a forever family is scary out there, particularly for girls. While we recognize that they're grown-ups, they still need support. And then we have the only all-girl public high school in the state of Arizona, Girls Leadership Academy. I was really hopping around. I went to Metropolitan Arts. I went to North a little bit. I did a little bit of online. I went from about four different schools in two years. And when I came here, I really found myself at home. They helped me out. We are working on public speaking, leadership empowerment, having the girls take college courses. There's a focus on academics, and there's less of a focus on boys which many of our girls get distracted from boys. I mean, I just like to move forward to the future and don't look back, leave it back there because I can't change it and today's a gift. That's why they call it the present. Suicide is no longer the answer for me. It, it just spreads the pain basically. Today girls are still in trouble and they need advocacy and support. And keeping in the spirit of our founder, sometimes your pain helps you to impact this world. It saved us, it saved our family. So like Charles Crittenton, our girls can take the devastating past and pain that they've experienced and really touch the world.